Hello there. So today I'm on my headset mic because during this lockdown period, uh, my next door neighbour seems to be chopping something down. So I hope you don't hear too much of that. So um, just a little bit of an update, really. Um, previously, I showed you this little demo. Um, let me just show this again. Where I've got a character here and there's a, a light source coming from here and it's hitting the character's face on the left and then I'm detecting how much color there is on that face and changing this cube behind them. So if I go to the light source, I can make it a kind of a yellow color and the side of their face changes accordingly. So that's all cool. So what I've done now is I've done what I originally hoped to do and if I just grab over here, let's grab this little light source, 300 wires I need to negotiate with. So here, it's not really being picked up too well on the, on the camera, but you can see that that should be the same color light. It's now being reflected on my face it's from this thing. So as the game changes, you can see that I'm now getting, unfortunately you can't really, doesn't really pick it too well on the cam, but probably on the face a little bit more. You can see that I'm you know, now getting a green, same kind of glow. Should be going a kind of red color now. So that's it. So I now got an environment. The screen environment is changing my real environment to give me the same kind of effects. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a Philips Hue light I'm using here to go through the different colors. Yeah, unfortunately my webcam's not really picking them up. But believe me, they are absolutely pin equivalents to what you're seeing on the screen. So yeah, quite pleased with that. Um, and I'll do a, a log later to explain how the code works. Okay, thanks for listening.